Greetings uh, everyone and welcome to another in the box video. Uh, today I'm uh, having a look at uh, Bismarck, a second World War at Sea series game. Designed by Mike Benninghoff. Hope I pronounced that right. And uh, was distributed by uh, Avalanche Press. Here, okay. This is uh, the second video I've done on the, of uh, this uh, in the box uh, series because um, I did uh, a video where I did uh, rip the shrink and all that, uh, but then. For some odd reason, my uh, camera decided to flip to the uh, vertical side, so uh, that didn't work out. So, anyhow, uh, here I am again uh, with another try. Let's hope this one uh, turns out better. Uh, I think this is the uh, second print uh, that came out in 2011 because the uh, uh, box is totally different from the ones I've seen in uh, Board Game Geek or uh, actually it's different than the, the uh, picture that was in the, uh, the product page from the shop I bought it from but anyhow uh, the artwork is uh, real nice as you can see uh, this would be the back of the box Okay, we have uh, the German battleship Bismarck, 40,000 tons of uh, armored menace, breaks out into the Atlantic to be haunted by the Royal Navy. It includes the many German raiding expeditions of 1940 and 1941 and a huge commitment to stop them in the spite of the neutrality laws. Can you sink the pride of the Nazi fleet or as the German player wreck havoc in the Atlantic? Game summary, player plots the movement of their task force and the launch of the airstrikes in advance. When opposing forces meet, play moves to the tactical map where combat is resolved. Scenarios will create the historical missions as well as those that might have occurred but did not. Uh, from what I've read in uh, Board Game Geek, uh, it's more of a cat and mouse uh, gameplay where the Royal Navy tries to find uh, the Bismarck and the Bismarck obviously tries to sink all the supply ships or something like that. So we have uh, over here on the right side, we have 30 minutes to many hours of time of gameplay. We have two players. Each hex is uh, 38 nautical miles. Uh, player pieces, there's 210 one inch uh, counters and 280 half inch counters. We have two player, uh, two playing maps and one uh, tactical map. Uh, the two playing maps are uh, 34 by 22 inch. We also have a 2.5, I would say, I would guess, 16 page rule, rules and 48 pages of scenarios. The difficulty is, uh, say, medium, and solitary player is fair. Alrighty, so that's that. Uh, unique box as uh, it opens uh, sideways. Okay, similar to. Uh, other boxes I've uh, encountered uh, as uh, Birds of Prey uh, opens in a similar way. Okay, so we have this uh, box in the lid, as uh, no enemies here <laughs> sometimes uh, say, right? Uh, these are the counters. Uh, counters are real nice. I really like these, uh, they look real nice. Real nice looking counters here, as you can see. Uh, we got the Americans on the top with the Quincy, uh, the Arkansas, the New York, the Texas, 
All right, the Wasp Carrier, the Rooktown Carrier, the Ranger, the Long Island. Okay, and as we move along, we have more Americans. Down at the bottom, we have some French with a Leopard, Paris, Dunkirky. Okay, Verdun. Uh, this would be the back. The counter is not much in the back. Uh, okay, just a silhouette. Thickness, well, cardboard. Not as thick as uh, some counters, but uh, serviceable. Alright, so this would be like a half sheet here. This is counter sheet number two front. Set that aside. Got another one here. Okay, sorry there for the movement. With more, uh, with more battleships. I'm not too uh, educated in, uh, you know, uh, what ships are what, if they're destroyers, if they're uh, frigates. I know a little bit, but not, I can't uh, really. I guess DD. Uh, stands for destroy here, I guess. Alright, so we got this would be uh, counter shoot number one. That's the front, and as the others, you have just a silhouette here. If my camera decides to focus. Okay, moving on to the next sheet. More counters here. Now this would be the Germans. We have the Bismarck on the top uh, left-hand corner up there. Alrighty, mighty ship there. Okay, some Canadian uh, ships, Ottawa, Saint Laurent, which is nice for all you Canadians out there. More French and over here we have some uh, task force markers we have some uh, airplanes as well as you can see there all right so this would be counter shoot number three Three. Then the back part. On the uh, airplanes, we do have some info, but uh, none on the ships. Okay, we just have silhouettes here. I'm curious to see how this plays solo, as uh, the game uh, states. Well, you have to find the Bis Bismarck. And this and sync them, so we're gonna see how that works out. Anyhow, uh, these are the half inch uh, markers. Okay, like I said, the uh, markers are very nice. They are very nice looking. Really, I really like the way they look. With some more airframes, some more Americans here. This would be counter sheet number four. So we have two full sheets of counters and two half sheets of counters. Alrighty. Then we move on to the scenarios and hit records. Booklet here. Uh, 2006. So I really don't know. If there's any updates to this game design, Mike Benninghoff, and then we have the play testers as well down here. Box design by Terry Strickland. Alrighty, 
So we have an introduction, we have special rules, we have battle scenarios, operational scenarios. So this would be, as the title implies, the scenarios and the hit record sheets, which I guess is this back here, at least one part of it. And then, yeah. See how all of these that uh, should be printed out. Okay. I guess these are like log sheets, United States light ships. Okay, here on the right. And then you have more. Sorry. Um, the original Gornard, uh Devin has a has a, a playthrough uh, video. A couple of them, and uh, today he just uploaded another one with the operational uh, uh, side. Uh, he's playing the Coral Sea, and he's uh, doing the operational side uh, turn. Sorry, of uh, of uh, Coral Sea. Uh, his other two videos are more have uh, have more to do with the tactical uh, play. Okay, so uh, maybe between both of us, well, out, we uh, get some hype for and get people to try out this series. It's not, uh, from what I understand, it's not very complicated. Uh, it's more on the easy side uh, compared to other naval warfare games, which is, uh, you know, uh, it's appreciated as well. You don't always want to get into... Uh, something uh, too difficult and you know uh, so that's that's nice too we'll see how, uh, how this turns out at least on my end okay so this would be your scenarios and my guess with uh, you know the deployment of uh, of your task forces okay this goes to 38 pages so we got that. Now we have the uh, rules, the series rules, uh, Second World, Second World War at Sea series rules. 2005. This uh, looks like it's been photocopied. Okay. There ain't man. There ain't many pictures. Or or examples of play but uh, from uh, what I understand it's not too complicated uh, and now that uh, Devin has put up uh, his videos I'm sure anybody that uh, wants to jump into this series will can reference his videos and clear in case he gets lost uh, uh, playing this or has any doubts so that's a nice touch as well so we got here for the rules. No, let's say they start at page three and go up to page twenty-four for the optional surface combat. All right. So yeah, let's say they go up to page twenty-two, then on twenty-three. You've got uh, optional rules, which are like uh, a page and a half. But yeah, that ain't much. All right, so that's your series rules. Not sure if they updated any of that. We've got two st small dice. Uh, nice looking blue dice here. But you do need to use a lot more, from what I understand, as each uh, 
hit dice. Uh, hit is a uh, corresponds to a dice. So if you got a, a twelve hit power, then uh, you need twelve dice. Depending on what with what guns you're firing. This is your tactical map, uh, which is a uh, two pieces here, as you can see. Uh, Take a. Uh, cardboard you got some charts all right now that's that Put that aside and now we move into the uh, map the actual map we got two maps map is a uh, I don't know if you can appreciate it here it's a bit glossy uh, I can't say it's uh, my favorite because, uh, well, it's hard to read out these numbers here. Okay. So, a little bit of a, a critique there on that end from my, from my side. But, yeah, you have Greenland up here. Okay. What a map. Let me see if I can focus out a bit. The map is pretty big, to be honest. The map is pretty big. It's uh, this is one part, and it's already covering half of my de uh, my uh, table here. Okay, so we got uh, Iceland over here and Greenland over at the top corner. Uh, on this side here, and then down here we've got Norway. So that's like half of the map. Okay, so that's one, and then we have the other part of the map, which my guess is uh, the straight with a bit of a, a west uh, a French, Belgium, and German coast, as we can see here, that France up here. We have Spain down here. We've got uh, Germany. Let me focus up here. Germany up here, but part of Germany. And then we have Great Britain and Ireland. Okay. Now we fold this out. Sorry. I'll fold this out here. Well, what we do have is a lot, a lot, of, a lot of sea on this end here. Okay. Sorry that this doesn't fit in the camera, but I can't have everything. We are not the NBC, CBS, Fox, or whatever TV that you know <laughs> has a bunch of uh, uh, resources for for this stuff. Just an average guy here. Anyway, we have a task force uh, sheet here. Card. All right. We have a player log sheet. With nothing on, on that side. All right. My guess is you have to photocopy all this. Then we have the uh, Allied Air Base card. We have uh, another smaller one. Oh, what is this? No, these look like the uh, aircraft carriers. Yep, aircraft carriers. All right, that's that. And we have another one with airfields, more aircraft carriers. Nothing on that side. Okay, what's that? And then what do we have here? This is your uh, 
some type of charts here with uh, modifiers. All right, maybe there's a sequence at play here somewhere. No, these are just all modifiers, as you can see. Okay, and then we have, lastly, another task force card here. All right, so that's uh, that's that. Got two task force cards here. We've got two uh, air base and uh, air carrier cards here. With another one here. We have a uh, lock sheet, and we have your modifiers here. Two maps. Alrighty. We have your tactical map, our series rules, our scenarios and hit CTRs. Oh, CRT, sorry. And we have uh, One full sheet of uh, counters, another full sheet of counters, two half sheets of counters, and the dice. The cover are ready, and the outer sleeve. I'm not too much of a fan of these boxes, <laughs> to be fair. You know, it's nice, but uh, I'd rather have all the box, all the boxes the same size, which makes your shelf uh, look a lot neater. Okay, so that's uh, Bismarck for you from uh, Avalanche Press. Um, from the Second World War at Sea series. Uh, for you. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, till next uh, unboxing, uh, keep on wargaming and thank you very much for watching. Good care. Bye bye.